Okay then, I guess we should get started everyone. Uh, but we'd like also to tell you that we wanted a robust conversation tonight about the state of the nation, especially on a special day like this, the Democracy Day. But we've uh, two government representatives who were, uh, said they will be joining us, regrettably are pulled out at the very last <coughs> minute due to reasons they say are beyond their reasons. But we won't stop, we shall continue. Let's begin the conversation tonight. Uh, I'd like to start from uh, my... Uh, from, from Professor Akio Yebode. Uh, when the government came into power, they rode on the mantra of change. But do you think that that has been a, a, achieved largely three years on? Well, I think, uh, like the French would say, uh, the more things appear to change, the more they remain the same. Uh, so we've had a lot of rhetoric uh, on change. It's just more of the same, quite sincerely. Nigeria has not changed drastically uh, from what it used to be, uh, despite all the flowery uh, rhetoric about change. So for me, uh, I think there is continuity in governance. Uh, radical transformation is yet to occur. Uh, so I think it's just a shibboleth uh, that the government has been using uh, to justify uh, its uh, taking over power. Uh, change, change, change. Where is the change? Professor, I mean, because a lot of people will wonder uh, if you look at uh, the indices of some of the development that we've seen in the last three years uh, and the performance of this government. For example, uh, the government has said that for power, they have increased the capacity from about 5,000 to over 7,000. That isn't change? Well, uh, I now live in Lekki. And where I live in Lekki, I've been without power. I'm one week old in Lekki. And I said, so it's true that the rich also cry. <laughs> so quite sincerely, um, power, we're talking of 5,000 uh, megawatts, 7,000. South Africa used to have 44,000. and still counting. So we are not serious. Uh, because uh, except and unless uh, we complete the Manbila uh, works and the other efforts <laughs> by the government to increase uh, power uh, and then put in place transmission facilities uh, to make power available, readily available. And most people will still survive by personal uh, generators. Either I better pass my neighbor or the mechanical gensets like my neighbors use. Uh, so I have. Uh, for instance, uh, a solar system that is grossly inadequate to take care of my needs. I can't even watch TV. So if that's happening to somebody like me, mm. uh, you imagine what is happening to the rest of society. Still, still, still on the mantra of change, uh, Professor Patatomi, it's on record that you <laughs> said Nigeria should be grateful to President Buhari's administration, noting that it would take time to address 16 years of the People's Democratic Party's uh, rot. Well, um... There is no question in my mind that democracy is a work in progress. Uh, change is something that is continuous. Uh, has change happened at a pace I would prefer? No. But some things are changing. Our agenda, at least, has shifted. Um, you talk about corruption. Perhaps if I were running things, I would approach it differently. But the fact that we are focused on corruption is a major move. There was a time when it was taken for granted that it was part of us. Corruption was part of us. It just had to go on. But at least now we're talking about it. We're debating it. Am I satisfied that we've moved as much as we could? No, I am not. So uh, there is change that is taking place, but there's a long ways yet to go. I'd like to ask Dr. Ezekwesili, do you think the All Progressives Congress is the face of change in Nigeria? You know, I told them sometime in 2014 when, shockingly, they had invited me as um, an economic uh, development person uh, to come and uh, address their uh, economic summit. And I said there was nothing that I was saying that was in any way much different from what we've known. And that for a party to reflect itself as change, these are the kinds of uh, conditions that we've trapped ourselves into that must be very clear would be changing. 
And the key point that I made at that time was the quality of the lineup of people who were personifying their party. I was saying that it was merely a change of acronym. And that change of acronym does not in any way um, change the fact that we don't have a political party crisis, but a political class crisis in our country. Now, three years later, I can just, in fact, I don't. It's people that look at the speech that I gave in 2014 and say it almost appears to have been very uh, prophetic. Uh, um, the, the, the key issue for me is that the APC and um, its uh, predecessor have not come in any way address the fundamental structural issues that we have as a, as a Nigerian and people. And what would you say is And I would top. say that the topmost one is our obsession for lottery that comes out of being an oil-rich economy. What that has done is that it has distorted our incentives. Our incentives are so distorted that productivity and competitiveness, which are her heralded on the back of well-advanced, well-developed, world-class human capital, has not been our forty. Our political class are comfortable to have this free lunch, more or less, that comes in the, in the wake of commodity super cycles. So recently, oil prices are back on a trend up. What do you hear amongst our political class? Thank God. Mm. That's not, I mean, come on, anybody can distribute oil wealth, but not everybody can do the business of nation building and all development. All right, let's allow Alaji Yabagi Sani to weigh in on the conversation. President Muhammad Buhari says his government has fulfilled his campaign promises. Do you agree? Far from that, as far as I'm concerned, because I think if you talk about change, uh, yes, there's a change, I think, from bad to worse. Because everything this is the one to look at, believe you me, we have retrogressed in such a manner that you will not believe that this is the same Nigeria that we had three years ago. Uh, look at the politics itself. Look at the just concluded congresses of uh, the APC. A charade. It's the mockery of democracy. They it has say created it's, more. It's, uh, no, you're talking about the change. APC, the change, that change we have it's, had. It's, it's, an, it's a family problem, and there is no, 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 no. Nobody is surprised about what is happening in APC. It's a ragtag organization. People just came together to grab power, <coughs> but for what purpose? They don't even know. This is a government that lacks capacity, they lack credibility, they lack organization, they lack vision, and they lack even direction as to what should be done for Nigeria. No credit at all to this government. No, it's, it's, like no, it's, no, 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 no. That's, that's not the I'm case. I'm asking. The case is that, personally, I, 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 I have experienced policies from assault at a level that you never believe in this country. Madame here may not remember, but she was in due process, when she was in due process office, there was a project that came to life during uh, President Jonathan's uh, time, which was legal methodology. I'm, I'm glad that a minister is here who is, also, who is in that ministry. A, you know, this pro, this uh, program was put in place to check crude oil theft, to check nefarious activities taking place at our terminals, and the government will come that is fighting corruption and will scrap that program without putting anything in place to replace it. I cannot think of any responsible government in, in that manner because we know how much we are losing from the ex, uh, criminal terminals. We know how much we are losing as a nation, you know, in terms of how we manage our economy. So to now say that a, a, a system that is so important internationally, it's not a local, it's not a domestic matter, internationally everywhere in the, in, in the world, you have what is called legal mythology. And it is at the base of economic development of every, every nation, meaning that how do you measure? How do, you, how do you control? How do you monitor? This government does not measure, they don't control, they don't monitor. This is a government that has not key performance indicators for its money ministers. Before we used to hear of ministers being, being uh, compared or being judged on the pages of newspapers, that this one has performed, you know, this one has not performed. Have you heard of anything? We used to have a coordinating minister in this country of the economy. Today, you don't know who is even in control. The ministers are in their, on their own. You go to any ministry, you don't even know who to talk to. And you say there's a change. Yes, there's a change. But the change from bad to worse.